Fixer uppers. People ask me about fixer uppers all the time. And in the past, there used to be more of them. And today, they're fewer because people have gotten wise to the fact that if a house is a little bit tired and needs some fixing up, they'll either do that before they put it on the market so they can get the real value of the house, or they'll sell it to a wholesaler who does that and then sells it at the top value. If you are fortunate enough to find a house that needs some work, it probably will languish on the market a little bit and it will be beneficial to you as a buyer. Are you a buyer that has those skills to navigate fixing it up? Do you have the connections you need to make sure the right things get done? Do you have the budget after purchase to get the things done properly before you move in? Or do you think that you can navigate living in a house while work is going on? Those are all questions you need to ask yourself before you go down the fixer-upper road. A lot of people that do not have the skills to do that go down that road and then they're not ready. And that can be very uncomfortable. If you'd like to know more about fixer-uppers and what is available and what is not available in that framework, please let me know. I'd be glad to let you know and see how I can help.